Hello everyone, my name is Parag and today I am here to tell how to design a concrete RCC building in the Start Pro. Okay, so go to the new project, select space, select unit, okay, give her name as a RCC building design. Okay, now go to next, add beam finish. After all, such a grid pattern is created here. Okay, here we can, uh, uh, that means we required a plan for design a building, obviously. But now in this uh, tutorial, in this video, I am going to, um, the here is uh, already plan is to be created. So I'll take only that plan. After in my next video, I tell about how to export, how to how to import the AutoCAD plan in the Start Pro. Okay, so go to first geometry, then go to run structure wizard. After go to the frame model, sorry frame model. After here base frame is here. Okay, you have to click, double click on this uh, icon and go to length. Length means the total length, horizontal length of the building. It's 12 meter. Height is to be 15 meters. So I want height along that means 5 meters. So 333 three, three meter particularly I, if you wanted to check particular how is to be divided so it is 3333 three, three, three distance per length is to be divided okay if you wanted to get change somewhat in the in the height so you can change here by changing double double clicking on this and you can change the length okay now this is to be length this to be number of rooms or number of height here number of room this is number of so that means stories and here the dimension okay after all width along z direction and here click to apply after clicking apply here a frame or a model is to be created now to import to export the model on the uh, main grid pattern you have to click on this transfer model option click on this and yes after clicking they asking about if you wanted to place the uh, but the frame model on a particular coordinate system i did not want i wanted to place at a 0 0 0 coordinate system so i place ok and here it places 0 0 0 ok after all that i switch off the grid pattern after that i go for the general ok in general i assign the beam size the column size the slab and support and load ok so i go to the property i go to the define then I wanted to provide rectangular. Now here I want I provide only um, that means deflection of point of two three by point of two three that two thirty mm. Okay, column size and um, point of three zero. Okay, is for beam. Okay, so if you wanted to assign this for a column, first of all go to the front surface, click on this. And select this for a column, select all the column like this. Okay, go to isometric view, check all selected all. And now see here, here beam also selected, so it is not a proper way. So go to the select beam parallel to all x direction, select beam, sorry, not x direction, select beam parallel to all y direction. Okay, so this is a proper way to select the, all the columns and go to assign to selected beam assign. Yes, okay. After all, you wanted to, you get, uh, you have to provide this section to the um, beam section. So I go to the uh, similarly select beam parallel to all x direction and select beam parallel to all z direction. Okay, all beam has to be selected now. Assign. Yes, after all that. I wanted to provide the slab section okay so for that I select such a all beam portion here okay by selecting all this here option fill with a floor grid click on this 80 new plate created and go to the thickness I wanted to provide 0 0.1 150 okay so add close and assign to the view so it properly assigned to the plates Okay, now after go to the support, I wanted to add fixed support. Click on this here, select all, assign yes, then such a type of 
all the call all the building is to be uh, defined here now wanted to check in a 3d modeling go to right click 3d rendering here your building is to be like this okay this is our one of the basic model to understand what is exactly exactly uh, design is to be okay now after that uh, load and definition go to the load case details add i wanted to provide here you have to create dead load okay give it name as dead load then uh, lie load no lie load okay close dead load means uh, You, we are providing UDL okay so here we are providing plate load yeah. okay so we have a floor load we are going to floor load wire range mm, is to be nothing but if you are providing the grade of M20 grade of concrete so thickness by mm, thickness that means uh, thickness of the slab 0 0.150 it is to be 155 but we are getting 150 cross of grade of 20 20 okay so it is nothing but 3 kN and multiply by 1.5 for the uh, working factor load is 4.5 so I am providing 4.5 okay and along minus direction because it is on a y direction okay and uh, what is the range range means the height from the 3 meter okay so and it is 5 to the 15 meters up to the top top of the height so add close okay i just uh, provide and this is to be 1.45 so it is also on a floor load okay so it is to be minus of 1.45 3 and it is to be 15 at close and on to provide <laughs> okay now i wanted to add self it also to light add self fit of whole building add and assign to the view okay now after all that you go to the analysis go to the design this is to be an auto total uh, um, total size given giving the size support providing load load combination all this to be given is like is called as the analysis after clicking on analysis you get all deflection bending moment blah 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 calculation here it is required to create a load case that means a combination of the different combination that i provided 1.5 okay and i want this is one of the combination i want because here the uh, all that means the loading along the deflection along this load is to be given separately and loading on this load given separately but here in the combination the all the combination that means all three three loads the combined with in this uh, pattern so the combination on an answer is to be along with the all the combination of the load okay now after that uh, we are uh, going for the design go to the design okay select concrete go to the is code 456 then define parameter fc grade of concrete 20 to 0 add f i mean it is to be 415 yield strength of main reinforced steel then yield shear reinforcement 415 okay close and assign to view it is to be to the whole structure because we are using the steel concrete shear for all the structure not is for the proper particular one okay then go to the dim uh, command so design of beam design of column design of slab element and take off take off is a command to allow to this analyze the all this designs pattern okay so go to the design of beam select beam parallel to all its direction that in particular selection you have here required here okay assign then design of column go to select beam parallel to all y direction assign then slab take out here the plates plate cursor and select all these plates here and assign to selected plate yes after doing all these things first of all check the 3d model if it's okay no one even no one plate is to be read and remain cancel okay so go to analysis and print all add 
sorry it is we have to close then analyze run analysis yeah. it takes some more time we uh, go to the view out of file done here one node is to be please note that depending on the shape of the floor you may have no break of the floor one way load is multiple command for detail please refer technical reference manual okay here's some more problem okay now here's the result concrete design first of all there is a all beam design beam number one uh, <coughs> that means the what is the size of beam is to be here okay here are reinforcement also is to be here okay so beam number one grid of concrete steel length size cover you have to provide section the particular distance is to be given here and with the distance here the two leg of 10 mm two leg of 10 mm um, steel is to be provided in a one layer one layer one layer okay at top layer at bottom layer and here shear is to be provided okay and also is the shear design required is to be given here for a beam then similarly for the concrete is also is concrete also given here go to the at a down portion column okay so it is column m20 fe 415 length cross section area cover required steel required concrete area main reinforcement providing four bar of 12 mm diameter okay equally distribution tire tire enforcement also given here okay then uh, also here the slab but slab here only given in the form of the area not in the form of the reinforcement detailing okay you have to calculate the reinforcement by clicking out the slab okay the 156 the area so go to the ast equals to the number of diamond number of size provided multiple pi by 4 into 5 with respect to you have to use all these things okay so thank you for watching my tutorial yes sorry 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 again there is one go to the cross processing okay click okay then uh, here uh, close these things you have to check the um, number of bars number of beams okay uh, in the column and particular section so click on this column okay concrete design hmm. if whether the concrete design tab is to be here then then and only then the concrete design is passed okay so such a type of two column okay so here you had two and two answers because one in one in the uh, image form other in the word form so combining both you can go to the autocad and go and make the structural de detailing of the particular section by making the scheduling of the column and beam okay so in concrete design okay such so it is very useful and very easy so thank you for watching my tutorial and please subscribe my channel for more videos as soon as possible, I provide you ETAP, SAP, all the lectures in Hindi and English. So, thank you. And